Hi, how Hello. are you today? I'm doing good now that I've seen you. You're Brenda Dixon from Young and the Restless. I've seen you for years and bump into you quite nicely on two different occasions. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing wonderful. It's a great day out today. Excuse me, I have my sunglasses on. <laughs> it's very hot, very sunny out, and uh, Roger Neal is producing this, and I can't wait to... Uh, last year I came, it's the most beautiful event, and they have so many beautiful stars. So, um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Definitely. Now, um, last time I spoke to you, you were an author of a new book, the Tell All book. And oh, the Tell All book is out. It's called My True Hidden Hollywood Story. You can buy it on Amazon, Apple, Barnes & Noble, all of the devices. And the, But the hard copy is on Amazon. And then I'm coming out with another book called My Hollywood Survival Guide. And that just encompasses how to stay looking beautiful, glamorous, handsome, and mostly strong and energetic for the rest of your life. And so I've studied with a scientist and I have a lot of knowledge about the internal workings of the body. Mm -hmm. And that is so important to know how, what you need to keep your energy up and be strong your whole life. So, and I go into everything, everything to do with beauty that I've learned in Hollywood. And it's just a blast. Yeah, look, look who's, look who's, uh... Look who's here. Hello, how are you? The man you, of the hour, Mr. Antonio Gillian himself. The man of the hour, how are you? Hey there. This is your show, right? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you for yeah. coming. Last year it was wonderful. Thank you, every yeah. year you're better and better. And very, thank you for coming. Yeah, you two are legends. Producer, you... Roger Neal and uh, his wife, and everybody who understands, especially the movies. I know him for many years. This many man years. is a very good man. Thank you. Yes. This yeah. is, it's just gotten bigger and bigger, hasn't it's it? It's just about amazing. Family. It's about wow. family. Family It's too. about the family. I know. That's what I like about it. Thank you. This is very lovely. What is this? It, it looks like it, it, it's you. European. Yeah, they're kind of called Olympia. This is new. Uh, it's going to be an Olympia award. I like the color, too. Thank you. I love the color. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be with you in a minute. Okay. okay. Thanks so much. Right. Antonio Gellini. <laughs> I'm the wearing a Zorro, by the way, from France. Hmm. And um, he's, he, he does Sophia Lauren and um, very nice uh, Gina Lala Brigida and many many people. He died, but he still has his cutting room in France, and I buy from him. I love his clothes; they're very very sexy and very. Uh, they fit you really well. Just you know, you just slip right into him. Well, when when you have a figure like yours, it makes it sexy. But that helps, right? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Speaking of that, are you uh, working on your own clothing line? Uh, I'm not, I am a designer, but I'm not working in a clothing line at, at this time. Maybe I will in the future. Okay. Because I used to design my clothes for the Y&R because I sort of am hard to fit. I have, you know, I'm large up top and I have a very... Voluptuous. Uh, yeah, I'm voluptuous. And, and that's hard to fit. Not so much anymore, but back when I did the show, it was um, impossible. So I designed a lot of my gowns and Jerry and Randy uh, de designed a lot of my gowns for um, Welcome to My Home which was in Vanity Fair uh, hmm. recently. They Very love nice. that film. And so it's got a lot of, it's got health, beauty, and exercise, but now I'm bringing it up to another level. Of course, I know more now than when I made it. Mm -hmm. So now, I, I was just wondering, if you had to do it all over again, would you do everything the same way, or would you change anything as far as your well, career? Well, I think if you asked, <laughs> I would change some things, and but if I changed some things, other things would have happened. True. And, so it's, uh, you know, that's an interesting question. You don't know what's going to happen. I've always been very fortunate in my life. Mm -hmm. And um, I just look at my life that way. I'm lucky, <laughs> yeah. you know, to be, I get up every day happy. You know, we have such a great life. We have telephones and water and cars. And, and you know, we have a great <laughs> life. No matter where, what station we are in life, we're very lucky to be here at this time now. Very true. Now, I, I watched the new Young and the Restless, and I've been a fan for years and years. But when you left, it was a transition to the new Jill, because I, I loved how you, your dynamics for the old Jill. You, you were kind of mean, but you were very sassy, very pretty. And, you know, people pulled for you, although you were kind of mean, but you always She was had the a underdog, conscience. no question. Yeah. She was the poor, sweet underdog, and um, then she became, you know, the villainous. I did win the award for that. I won People's Choice Award for Best Villainess 
and people love that should. character. I thought they would hate me because no. I did these things, and I got so much fan mail when I was divorcing um, Jerry Douglas, who played the uh, cosmetic uh, magnet John Abbott, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. they said, take him for all you can get, and you know, it was fun. It was tongue-in-cheek, but it, it was great fun to do it. It was, it was very nice to watch, especially your fights with uh, Catherine and and your... Yes, yes, that was a through line all the way through. Jean and I were all the way through from the beginning when I was her hairdresser to the end when I was owning 20% of Jabot when we were... Uh, she was sort of a nemesis, but I could handle her. Mm -hmm. And so we fought back and forth. <laughs> now, I've always wondered, I've yeah. always wondered, would it be possible for you to... I mean, it's possible, but are you going to ever do anything, you know, that's similar in like another format, another venue? You mean like another character? Sure, it is I mean, possible. Well, no, I mean like 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 a similar character to that Jill, but in another storyline, or maybe in in a movie line, sort of like Dynasty, sort of. Uh, yes, like it is possible. It is because people love that character, and certainly I can pull it off. <laughs> Definitely. So, um, yeah, that that could happen. That could happen. What can we look forward to you doing this year, Miss Dixon? Probably the release of my next book, for sure. And um, I don't know what else is going to happen. <laughs> I never do. Yeah. Now, are there, are there further litigations going on that people could possibly come and, you know, view as a... Uh, yeah, I, I'll have to go back to Hawaii and get my half of the property. That's, that's litigation mm -hmm. going on, yes. Very cool. I have to go back there. That's going to be a big deal. And something I'd always want to ask you, who was the main influence on, in your life, both as a human being and as, a, as an artist? Well, there's so many people. Um, as an artist, Lee Strasberg, uh, but mostly, um, gosh, my mother was a great influence in my life. Milton Katsalas, the director, who was a fabulous teacher, mm -hmm. uh, was, I think, the strongest influence in my life because I had all of Lee's, I was in Lee's master class and then I went into his master class and they had different techniques and so I could blend them both. And that really helped me in my acting. Um, so they were, uh, everybody, uh, Roger Neal, uh, Ed Losey, uh, there's so many people that you can't do it alone. Mm -hmm. So you have to have friends and, and uh, they've been an influence in my life too. Definitely. I see quite a few um, teachers now going online and so forth, teaching students how to nail the reaction, to bring the emotion to the face so that the character, the, the emotion is shown in the face. Because some people can act, but they can't show it in their face. How did you master that particular uh, I think, it, well, it, you know, with Strasbourg, you have to go back to a moment in your childhood or even now. Uh, and however you would act naturally, emotionally, is how you should act. Mm -hmm. If you don't show emotion in your face, don't do it. I mean, it, it has to be real. I mean, some people don't. Some people don't show emotion the way. N n never do we all show our emotion the same way. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes it interesting. But it has to be real. It has to be uh, come from within, you know? Mm -hmm. So are you saying that when you're crying, you're actually feeling that pain? when you're on, on camera? You should have something to hang on to when you act. Something, a, a reality, any reality in real life that you understand. Okay. And if you get that, then you'll get through whatever you have to do. Cool. Is it, is it hard for you to shake your character once you leave the set? Shake what? Shake the character that you are in? No, not at all. I could do any character. I could play a sweet person. I could play a horrible person, I could play a fun person, I could do comedy, drama, I could do any, any character. No, I meant uh, once you leave the studio, does that character cling to you? Are you still in character? Can you shift back to being you as opposed to being that No, because character? Jill Abbott was me. She was glamorous, she was exciting, uh, she was uh, smart, uh, but the only different, and she, she wore clothes very well, I like clothes. Mm -hmm. The only difference between her and me is that she was a villain, and I, I'm not. Mm -hmm. So, but everything else was so much like, it was so easy to play that. The other part was so difficult for me to play. I had to make up a character. They had to wash off my makeup, push my hair down, and all that stuff for the first character. But when I came back, I got to be me, and I loved that. Mm -hmm. I absolutely, it made it so easy for me. Definitely. And before we go, I just want you to know that after you left Young and Restless, the last time I saw you, before I saw you, 
a couple of years ago was on Lifestyle of the Rich and Famous. And I was like, that looks like her. And, and sure enough, you're on the Lifestyle of the Rich and yes. Famous. Uh -huh. Yeah. That was the last time I saw you until I bumped into you the oh, last time. Oh, did the, you? Yeah, it was cool. And where'd you get the earrings? Who, whose earrings? Are you modeling oh, those? You or know, those uh, no. <laughs> I just love these earrings and I didn't even look at who made them. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't. Are those real diamonds? Uh, could be. I don't know. <laughs> I was going to get a close-up. But I um, just want to thank you for being you. And let's get a close-up on that. Wow. Those are, those are shimmering. This is very nice. Thank you. just want to thank you for your time. And ladies and gentlemen, this is Miss Dixon from Young and the Restless fame, legendary actress. If you get a chance, Google or go on her Instagram. How can people find you on Instagram? Uh, and, Brenda uh, Dixon Actress on Instagram, and I'm on Facebook. I have a professional page that anyone can get into under Brenda Dixon. And then I have my personal page, which thousands of people come into my personal page, but I'm all booked up on that one. So I opened the other one, uh, but the public can come in to Brenda Dixon Actress. There you have it. We're at the Family Film Awards, and thanks so much, Brenda Dixon. And I wish you continued success. Very nice seeing you again. Thank you. And you look great, by the way. Thank you.